so during the month of July, um, historically, it's a, it's a hard month for me. Um, and the more that I'm on my healing journey and deconstructing the, the, the systems that my brain has created patterns off of to manifest my world, um, it makes sense for me why July is a hard month. I'm not going to go into that right now. But so what I've started doing, um, I started it in 2019. Um, and then I skipped a year, I guess, but, um, I write letters to myself from myself. Uh, I start them the previous month into the, like, I was like, I was writing to my future self. So I wrote them like, so today's July 5th. I wrote it June 5th to July 5th. And then I've just continued that every year, um, as like my own, like quantum jumping timeline experience for me because I recognize time isn't linear and so I'm writing from like my future self to a present self from a past self with a hindsight self and all of them get to converge on ink um, with essentially I do um, stream of consciousness journaling so um, I thought I would read these letters I haven't read this letter yet this is my first time reading it in a year I don't remember what's on it but this is from July 5th 2019 Meredith, I am mature. I am plenty. I am enough. When you argue, argue for your limitations, stop and breathe. Ask yourself, a diff ask yourself a different question, any question at all to shift your perception, perspective, to have 20 months to focus on creation. Meredith, you are three years from healing what you have done to your mind and body. Take refuge in your mindfulness practices. They are working. Today, you believe you can learn to love again, and you have had moments of feeling this manifested. I expect you to have more if you keep this space of being and feeling. Today, no more arguing for your truths about yourself, no more. I expect when you read this that you have become more of who you feel to be. Meredith, you started working on your feet in August 2018. It's June 2019, 10 months. You're only three weeks into a new diet. Meredith, for the complete... Meredith, for the com Complete 20 weeks of your certification, you only get to speak of your, you only get to share when you feel new. No more old, Meredith. Meredith, you have 25 more months of building yourself. No more old you. You are living your practice of creating new subconscious programs. Don't activate old ones. Meredith, I expect when I read this next, you are living abundant love and gratitude for everything in your life. You and Vanya are in a new honeymoon. You are rocking the Met. Your certification is illuminating, a language you can reflect clearly and with your amazing interpretation of it. All right, so I don't know what I was meaning with all those time frames, but I'm definitely going to go back and do some math. Um, I do know like certain things like every seven years you have new cells. It takes a certain amount of time to create mastery in things or it takes a certain amount of time to reteach your, you know, like neurons to create new pathways to make new patterns. It takes time for your body to uh, rearticulate how it's moving and anchoring itself. So I'm sure uh, some of that was in those numbers and um, I'm still barefoot, still doing that, still doing the human footwear. And um, this is it did take this long. I am and a new honeymoon with my wife. Um, and I am rocking the Met. The certification um, aspect, it's been up and down related to uh, creating my own business of service. But I would say in the cycle and the trajectory of everything that that said, I, am, I put it forth and I'm doing it, but it's taking some time. All right, so next letter. Let's see here, 2021 open July 5th. All right. So good day, sir. Good morning, Ms. Mr. Meredith. The time has come. It has officially arrived the death of self so that this new sir may emerge. You have, I have, we have let go of the self image. You, we kept looped for your long time ago. We all recognize you, dear Meredith, have have recognized, you recognize, you no longer need to keep the reflections of others to live your peaceful, dem, your peace, peaceful, I don't know, demise your end, the ending. You, I, we can live alone and be just fine. You, we don't need anyone in the ways we thought to thrive. Dear sir, hello, I am so happy to make your acquaintance. We no longer need that humdrum you 
have contrived to live. You can die now. It's okay. Good night and good and good bye, Meredith. All right. So what's interesting with this is I'm in a space of ascension in my uh, myself that I realize now is the only now, and certain versions of me do need to have a, a cell death, if you will, um, but that they always will be folded within the the tapestry, the clay that is me, but um, I'm definitely in this, like, sensory space of, like, I am a new Meredith, and I identify as a collective, and I am only the name Meredith because that's what was given to me, and I am, and with that said, I am only certain particular programs of my conditioning from early development, which contrived that Meredith. Um, and yeah, I definitely am in a space where um, healing codependencies uh, related to feeling like I needed particular mirrors to let me know who I am. And now I'm in a space of understanding tension is required to create. Um, tension is important but I get to choose those anchoring places and I get to choose how I'm gonna anchor and create tension and um, yeah, okay. We're gonna move on to the, the final letter. So this one is July 5th, 2022. Let's see what's up. Oh God, this one's so short. July 5th, 2022. You are aware of current moments that are no, long, that are no longer here. The presence of now is the manufactured moments of thoughts you keep thinking. That is all that you believe. Belief, emotion, mind is not, is hot and present. Wise mind considers characters that make you the best you. Live from your values. I wrote this letter to self while in group therapy. Yeah, so I would say that this tracks with... Uh, the uh, trajectory that I put forth years ago to um, be healthy, healed, balanced, and to be a new self that um, is no longer cycling this these old stories that I tell myself repeatedly, the same memory is repeatedly in the same way um, to keep this version of self going that doesn't necessarily work for me. And uh, what works for me is that's still out on the table. <laughs> All right.